Hi, I'm Dave and I'm in a formerly abandoned building which we have converted over to become the Air Spool World Headquarters. An Air Spool is a solar powered hybrid mini split unit. This one's 12,000 BTU, so one ton of air conditioning. Uh, it's a heat pump too, so it's winter time right now. It's set to 75 degrees. This indicates that it's running off of solar and right now actually running off of all solar. There's an app where you can see how much of the power comes from solar. You can start and stop it remotely. You can schedule, etc. via your Android or iPhone. And so the air comes through here. That needs to be conditioned and comes out here. Uh, and it goes through to get heat or cool. It goes through a coil. You see here in the winter time, this coil is about 134 degrees right now. So that's enough to take care of this room easily. And in the summertime, it's around 34 degrees. So that's enough to cool here. So this unit's a duct ductless unit. You see these old ducts here. Supposedly, there's a statistic that 25 to 40 percent of energy lost in air conditioning is through the ducts, either through leaks or through duct friction. This doesn't have ducts. So what does it have instead? It has what's called a line set, okay? And this line right here and the smaller one in the summertime, it carries high pressure refrigerant to the inside unit that we just looked at. And it's kind of like a spray can. When you spray a spray can, it feels cold. That's because the can, what's coming out of it is changing from liquid to gas. And that same thing happens inside of the expansion unit here using an electronic expansion valve, okay? And so when it goes through that coil, which looks like a radiator, it makes the air coming through there either cooler or hotter, and it takes the heat or cold back through the return line up to the roof, okay? And so we'll look at the outside unit momentarily. And this unit is actually, it's called variable speed, VRF, variable refrigerant flow, because it has a variable speed compressor as well as a variable, uh, as well as that electronic expansion valve in the variable speed fan. So in the past, you probably remember that you hear the unit when it comes on, mm, that jolt or inrush current. That made it so you couldn't do what we're seeing right here, run a unit with off of four solar panels, okay? Because the power couldn't cycle on, cycle off gradually like this one can. So these panels are running that, that unit and it's obviously a little bit easier today with not a cloud in the sky. Weatherman Ted, Ted Pretty said last night that we might be seeing some increasing clouds, but they haven't increased so far. So walking over here to the outside unit, there's another coil inside of here. By the way, these units, the inside unit I think is 42.5 decibels and this one is, it's running right now. I don't know if you can see it running. Hello! But it's running and yeah, it's it's super quiet, library quiet, maybe uh, 50 decibels or something like that right now. And so these, the um, solar panels plug in through these MC4 connections here. So you just click them on, very easy. Is there a voltage regulator for this unit that you need to buy? No. Is Are there batteries you need to buy? No. Do you need an inverter? No. Just plug these in. This is all DC, folks, so it runs off of DC power, which is the same thing that those solar panels are, so that helps, okay? My mom says, who's in Michigan, she says, hey, here in Michigan, we really appreciate it when it's May. You need to get back here, and I'm like, no, I appreciate not being kicked in the gonads every day I'm out here. But some days it's not super sunny here. Some days it's actually rainy or cloudy, and sometimes it's actually night. So what do you do then? Well, this unit is 
22 seer, so it's 50% more efficient than most units sold today, and it's probably 150% more efficient than your older unit. But in the case when there is no sun, see that yellow plug? That's a normal uh, 120, 110, 115, whatever you want to call it, outlet. Uh, and so you just directly plug in that plug. And by the way, you can see those two copper lines. So that's the uh, high and low pressure refrigerant lines running back into this unit here, okay? So inside there, not to get into too many technical details, but that's where the uh, con condenser and compressor are located. So if and when you have an interest in solar powered air conditioning, We'd appreciate a shot at your business. Give us a shout. Check out airschool.com for more details. Thank you.